I was born in Florida, um, and when I was one and a half or two, something like that, we moved out to Roseville. I think I was riding like a tricycle or something when I was in Florida, and then um, I don't really remember like learning to ride a bike. I think I was super young when I learned to ride a bike, so it's a little bit before I um, started building lasting memories. So uh, yeah, I've been, been riding a bike for as long as I can remember. Uh, I grew up maybe two minutes from a bike path that takes you 20 minutes on the bike path out into the countryside and into the nice riding terrain. So that's probably why I ended up uh, becoming a cyclist. The, I'd say like the first bikes I really started to f fall in love with were probably this, uh, this local bike, built, uh, bike company called Vent uh, Ventana. They, uh, they built me and my sister custom bikes actually, like just aluminum bikes growing up when we were racing mountain bikes and road bikes and they were kind of our sponsor. Um, and I mean, I, I mean, they built us custom bikes, which was really sweet and uh, got to race on those and um, raced triathlons on those, raced mountain bike races, kind of raced everything on those. And then um, eventually started going on to cycling teams. But before cycling teams, we were just kind of sponsored by this local bike company, Ventana Bikes, so it was awesome. I think the, uh, the first contract that I signed that um, really made me feel like I was signing a professional contract was probably when I signed for Action. Um, just because, I mean, I was, I looked up to Axel and looked up to that team for so long and um, I almost wasn't even gonna be racing like my bike a whole lot anymore. I was kind of trying to decide what to do at that point and then I got a contract offer and then when I signed the contract, I was like, okay, I'm really gonna try to be a cyclist now. So um, that was kind of like a, a big turning point, I think in my life was signing that contract in 2015, uh, in December 2015 for the following season. And then yeah, 2016 was a super good year and um, came to California and was able to have a really good race. And yeah. At the end of the day, there's always stuff you could do apart from cycling. So it's not really like, oh, I'm gonna be on the streets if I'm not competing well, but um, no, I mean, honestly, I just like tell myself it's money in the bank. You gotta, you gotta suffer to succeed. So just gotta tell myself that it won't last long. And I remember like, I don't know when I, like my first year as U23, like that was a super hard year. It's like my first year really racing on the road. And, um, I was just getting bashed like, oh my gosh, there were days where I was like by myself for like three hours or something off the back. And then, um, the next year that was 2016 and like that winter I worked really hard and put what I learned to good use and um, ended up being the one dishing out that pain that I was feeling so every every time I'm you know in the box or just really struggling in a race just gotta kind of think back to those times and like okay it's just the same thing's gonna happen I know it just gotta keep telling myself that um, eventually it'll it'll turn over and um, yeah it'll be it'll be good in the end. I mean, I'd probably still be in college. Most of my, most of the kids I grew up with and went to high school with, they're, they're still in college. So I mean, I'd probably be running in college, honestly. I had some offers uh, to, to run in college, uh, some scholarship opportunities with like the Naval Academy and um, Brown and uh, UCLA and stuff. But I think that uh, cycling was really definitely the, the calling I was feeling. And um, yeah, I mean, probably be a runner at this point, but definitely uh, fell in love with cycling. and wouldn't want to go back. I mean, yeah, for sure. Cycling is uh, my dream right now and I'm sort of living it. So it's awesome.